Hi everyone, this is Margaret and I have a really special look that I'm doing today and it's based off of one of my favorite, favorite stories from Disney, um, the Sleeping Beauty series. But this one is based off of the villain in the movie, the original movie, Sleeping Beauty, uh, Maleficent, who I always thought was so like scary but also beautiful at the same time. And of course they casted... Um, uh, Angelina Jolie to play Maleficent, which I think is amazing casting, and I can't wait to see it. Um, I've, you know, I'm also um, very curious to see her side of the story because I know that it is based off of why she became the way she is in the as a villain, and it's probably very much like the whole Wicked story. I don't know if you guys ever watched the the play Wicked, which has the uh, the take of the Wicked Witch of the of the West for um, for the Wizard of Oz. So it shows the the human side of it. So I think this is going to be really interesting. Anyway, this is the look that I'm inspired by, and the movie's coming out in, in end of May, so it'll be a summer release. Um, and I've been seeing so many trailers and I've been given um, pictures, stills from the shoot. I'm with the local 706 Motion Picture Union so I get a lot of insight, early insight on on projects that are coming up and that are about to be released so I'm very fortunate that way. So this, I'm just seeing all that stuff that's coming out, I'm really interested in um, getting inspired by these kinds of characters. So here I did a really really flat mass um, uh, foundation where I just wanted to make the skin very flat and very um, not shimmery at all and I'm putting a, I put a highlighting powder on the brow bone and then I put like a contour shade on the lid and then I put a, a slightly kind of warmer yellowish contour color just in the inner crease to just merge all the colors together because I want this the the look to be very neutral because it's all about a very neutral eye with very strong black eyeliner so here I'm going underneath the, the lash line and I'm doing the same thing with the contour color underneath the lash line just to kind of rim it and then I'm going to go again underneath that with a, just a bit of softer yellowish um, contour color and this just softens it but it also creates a nice kind of uh, feel to it so I'm taking the the kind of the um, darker version of the contour color and I'm just going from the end of the lash the lower lash line and kind of curving around the lid into the the crease of the eye and see how I'm just kind of creating kind of like a semi cut crease and so I'm just adding a little bit more shading in that area just to give it more depth um, because I still want everything to look very very um, neutral. I don't want it to be very uh, colorful or very strong and this is all based off the the film um, version of her look. So the brows make a huge statement. So I'm taking a very dark dark um, brownish black powder for the brows and I'm just going really into a very strong arch and I think Maleficent definitely has that strong arch brow that really creates the character feel. Now Angie, my model here, who's just absolutely beautiful, I love, love, love her face and I asked her because I think she's got some similarities as Angelina with especially her eyes, the same color and Maleficent hence Angelina Jolie has such beautiful green eyes, and so does Angie here. So I, I really hope that, you know, by choosing her, it's going to really sell the look. Um, but here, I'm actually just going with her natural brow shape, but then I'm really making the arch area very strong and pronounced. So if you're going to do this look, because you can definitely wear this look, you know, not for a character of Halloween or anything like that, but you can definitely wear this look every day. I would just soften the brow, and I'm over-exaggerating. I'm going to be putting um, the headpiece on her uh, in the photograph that you'll see. Um, but, you know, as you can see, this has to kind of make it 
a little bit more like a character feel. So here I'm just going to keep adding the shadow and just blending it in, blending it in, because I want this to still have some depth. I don't want this to look so natural to the point where it looks nothing. Okay, so now I'm taking a black, black, super black pencil and I'm going right in her lash line I'm gonna start off in the water line and I'm just gonna rim it all the way around and make sure that you get a really good coating of it because you want the eyes to really have that intense dark kind of edgy look to it and I'm going right on the lash line and and just really merging it right into the lashes and I'm going to be pulling it out ever so lightly, but not too much, because I really want this to really just pop that green out and really create almost like this mysterious feel to the eyes. And the black definitely will create that intensity and give it that payout. And especially if you have uh, light eyes, it really will pop it out like crazy. And so as you can see, I'm giving it a nice coat around and then I'm going to be blending it in with my straight brush because I want the line to be really, really smooth. I don't want any jagged edges or anything like that. And this definitely will help create um, a nice, just smooth finish to the liner. And, um, and just uh, as you see, I'm pulling it out ever so slightly. And I'm just going to go now on the the lash line and just blend that in and I'm probably going to be just adding more and more just as I see it how if it keeps getting lighter I'm just going to keep adding it so it'll really punch it out more and you get definitely um, more payout so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have her look down and I'm going to go right into the water line just on the inner water line of her lash line and I'm just going to give that so that way it just really creates that really intense dark feel to the eyes and see how I'm just pulling this out and I'm blending it out I'm just merging that in up ever so lightly not really pulling it all the way out I don't want a, an intense like cat eye but I just want to just merge it out just a touch and so as you can see I'm really working um, the liner in this look this is kind of like the star of the show um, and you want to make sure that it really does have some good payout. So as you can see, I'm just adding and then blending, adding and blending. And then, of course, I'm going to add now some more of that lighter shade of contour underneath and just to just pull it out. And this, you know, definitely... It doesn't seem like I'm doing a lot, but I am. And you need to keep working at it in order to get the right levels together, and in order to get the right feel and the right um, shading. And you know, and then here I'm taking my contour brush and I'm taking a deep contour um, powder. Now I have. Um, a trick that I do is I always tell them to make like a fish where they suck their, che their cheeks in and you can really get in the deep grooves of the cheekbone, the inner cheekbone. And if you look at Maleficent's picture, she's all about like sunken cheeks. And so what I'm doing is I'm really creating a really intensified kind of sunken feel to it but I don't like that straight line normally so I'm gonna just do my, a little bit more my version of it and then I'm putting a, like just ever so light color above the contour area which is more like a um, like right on the ledge of the cheekbone and then I'm gonna go later um, with a highlighting powder as you see here and I'm just going to go right above that and just m really enhance the the cheekbones to make the darker part more sunken in and the lighter part, I'm going to lift them out. And if you look at Maleficent's um, cheeks, man, they are really, really, really sharp and intensified. So I'm going to do my highlighting here just to pronounce the shape of the face more. And Angie has a very heart-shaped face, so I really want to just bring out as much of the angles as possible. And see here, I'm going over again with the contour in the crease, just to create a little bit more depth. And I'm using my um, blending brush. So now I'm taking uh, a very super dark black 
Thick Formula Mascara. Now, I was going to put a, a false uh, lashes on her, but Angie's got some serious long lashes and very thick, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to use what she has, but I'm just going to really overemphasize it. So I'm using a very thick formulation and going really thick with it. The only thing is you want to make sure you don't get so clumpy. So really work each lash and coat it very, very generously, but make sure that they're separated and that they look good. Because just because I say use a thick formula, go thick, doesn't mean it should look really tacky and clumpy. So make sure that you apply this all with, you know, all that in consideration. And But, oh my God, the lashes... They make such a difference in this look. I think in every look. I mean, to me, I always say lashes and lips always finish the look. So see how how thick and and just um, intense the lashes are. And this really accentuates the black liner. And also with her green, green eyes, it really just pops it out. And with all the contour colors, it just softens everything else on the lid but it really pulls and really creates the focus in the inner lid so and I'm going as well very very thick on the the lower lashes now if your lash challenge definitely you can use um, individuals as well as um, a, a you know a really good strip liner um, but definitely if you have good natural lashes just work what you have um, so now I'm just gonna use um, a little bit more contouring powder underneath just to pop the eyes out a little bit more and what this does is just kind of creates a nice um, support to the lashes and the liner so now I'm going what I'm doing is I'm just conditioning her lips because they were really dry and Maleficent has these blood blood red um, lips and they're very matte so I'm taking as you can see a very blood red lip stick and it's you know red lips are really hard and I don't use liner some people will use red liner I'm not a liner person I tend to just put everything freestyle I can't say I don't ever use it but most of the time I don't and so really when you're working with a color such as this or any intense color you want to really take your time and make sure that it's on right and it's even and the shape is you know perfect to the face and everything is just drawn evenly and smoothly and you don't want any have any have any weird jaggedy edges on the lips so really take your time but look at how it's really starting to become maleficent and then I'm going to take a little bit of just a kind of like a, a brownish red blue color just to add on top of it to create a little bit more bluish tinge to the lips and it really will help um, and now I'm just going to give it a last little dusting of contour powder. And, you know, here we are. So if you like my techniques, please go to www.mkcbeautyacademy.com. We have online training or in-person training. Thank you so much for watching. If you love my looks, please press like. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Stay tuned for many, many more to come. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.